Hello everyone, this is your host Pratik Chauhan and uh, we'll be covering our today's session on Toronto MLS Fundamentals, right? In our today's session, we'll be continuing from our uh, last Saturday session, our Toronto MLS Fundamentals. Last time we have covered the little basics, how to access new status uh, software, menu commands, how to use action toolbar, right? But we will cover it in little detail today right we'll be covering the major parts of the uh, toronto mls uh, basically uh, how to see uh, uh, the for sale activities or the listings for lease uh, listings or for sub lease uh, uh, listings basically for sub lease is basically commercial right so we'll be covering that today right B besides that uh, they are the various different options we need to cover today like under the search criteria how do we make a search for a different regions or municipalities right so we will be covering those as well in in a today's session i would like you to go along with me because a few of the examples uh, will be doing it together right in which uh, we'll be going through the different search criteria like map search um, uh, the save search all those things will be doing it today right and how you how to narrow down your search right you don't want a broader search and then you'll spend some time which listing is good for your client which one is not you should know how to narrow down your search so we'll be working Working on that as well right and uh, printing a search and emailing it to your client that's fairly easy and uh, we have already covered these two parts last time but we will cover it one more time and uh, Besides that, there are a the few other topics like uh, conducting a map search, right? Sometimes uh, area is not much familiar, but the client says like 2.5 kilometers from this region to this region, I am looking to buy a house or, or a condominium. Then you should know how to search on a map because then you're not aware of the particular uh, Brampton West, Brampton East, Brampton Central, right? Then you need to open a search, put a radius uh, from to, uh, from the location your client is interested in, 2.5 kilometers, 3 kilometers, depending upon the client's need. And I'll help you out how to use radius, how to use polygon. These are the two different major aspects, like in a map search, that everyone should know or must know, uh, otherwise you'll be missing out the important tool of uh, the Toronto MLS then um, going beyond that there is an option for the MLS search number if your client knows the MLS search number then you don't need to search through uh, the Brampton Peel region and then find it out the property you can directly enter the MLS number and you can find that property I'll cover that as well right renaming your save search deleting your save search running a save search right these are the things like basically when when you know a specific search that you need to see every single time like a detached house in a Brampton right uh, or a deta or a, or a condominium uh, high rise condominium in Brampton these are the searches you'll save it under a save search right and uh, or you can also do that a predefined searches right then you can use multiple tools underneath it which are uh, the running save searches deleting save searches or renaming it right so we'll be covering that because that's an important tool because you then you don't need to go through the Toronto MLS uh, uh, search criteria again and again once you know your criteria you can save it under a save search and every single time you just need to open a save search that's all right and uh, uh, we'll be covering the prospect searches uh, today as well uh, which are uh, basically you're covering all the new searches map searches save searches so we'll be covering that so let's start out with the today's session uh, i would like you to open a tab please
once you're inside a tab you need to hit search properties we'll be covering the residential search properties click on search properties and this is the main uh, info center home page you can say uh, under the save uh, the search properties on the left hand side panel you can see there are the few links which we have covered some of them like public records and real net few of them we have covered it but uh, we have to cover rest all of them as well right and at the top you can see there are the options of search add edit uh, notice pages and the solid statistics right so we'll be covering that uh, uh, that uh, all of the, these options today right I would like you to click on search and then if you are just finding a residential freehold means there is no maintenance click on residential freehold not condominium click on freehold choose option available and sale and hit continue from there I would like you to go to peel and then choose Brampton the moment you choose Brampton you can see these many houses are available in Brampton 977 houses are in, in in Brampton are available right but if you narrow down your search even further more I would like to see detached houses in Brampton right two story look at that 574 right go beyond that choose new 0 to 5 and over here there's an option of separate entrance in a basement under basement choose separate entrance once you've chosen that you can see there's only 76 houses are available now my clients budget is only seven hundred thousand dollars and you can see in seven hundred thousand dollars zero houses let's increase our budget 750 let's see still zero houses are available let's increase the budget to eight now six houses are available let's see these houses hit submit and these are the houses available let's choose the first one so this is 30 by 90 feet the first one I've chosen 45 Mary Brook 30 by 90 feet it has a separate entrance basement apartment is full there are no pictures available only a one picture is there okay so it says a brand new luxury detached house built by award-winning builder right townwood homes right so these are the things and it says uh, upgraded kitchen cabinet side door to the basement oak streets second floor laundry master bedroom all that stuff is there and this is the brokerage information so if you need to validate whether this property has the right specs you can check it out over here right this is a brand new property so probably you won't be able to find it under the public records let's see so I'm opening a public record right from over here I'm entering this information 45 yeah look at that I'm not able to find it out nope so brand new property so this is the best example brand new property you won't be able to find it under public records this takes some time to 
Yes. Yeah, whatever is made by builder. Yeah, whatever is made by builder, and uh, same year probably you won't be able to find it because it takes time. Public records updates this information, right? Let's go to some another example. So you have to click over there to results in order to go back. Please follow my steps. So I was over there under a detailed view. I'll click back to results in order to see all of the results. 57 Robert Parkinson Drive. So this is a house. So four bedroom, three washroom, right? This house also has a separate entrance, right? And uh, let's see whether this house is available on uh, public records or not. So I'm clicking on Robert Parkinson. I'm gonna go back to. Fifty-seven still doesn't show. Oh, it doesn't. No. Oh yeah, I think I'm making a mistake over there because. It's a street, it's not a unit. T7, Robert Parkinson. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I was making a mistake. Unit number means this is a, if this is a condominium or if it's a townhouse, then you have to put a unit number over there. So I made a mistake over there. I'm really sorry. So 57 Robert Parkinson Drive. You can see that this house has 301 single family detached not on water okay and uh, it's phased in assessment value 475,000 and 500 every year yes mm-hmm Yes, so you have to pay taxes on this amount, not exactly on this amount. Basically, there is a formula you need to calculate uh, for this year taxes with the help of this number. So, so like if the property sells for 750 or 800, yes, the owner of the property is not going to pay taxes on 800,000. No, 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 that's a land transfer, that's a two different thing. There's a one land transfer tax right another one is the property tax every year which you have to pay this is about every year you have to pay yes definitely yes and you have to pay taxes on, on the basis of this number right so we will uh, roughly it should be around 4800 something so we will cover it like how does it work not 10 percent one percent yeah 10 percent will become 40 yes so one percent no? something like that so I'll, i will cover the formulas like how to calculate the uh, taxes for this year uh, for each and every property so we'll cover that. So let's go under the Treb MLS. So this house has never been sold. This is a brand new property, right? If you go under enhanced, you can see that it has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and one half washroom, right? It doesn't have a split, right? So separate or the private driveway, right? Attached garage, demographics, you can see that this area is a brand new area and the demographic shows this is a neighborhood, right? the population from 20 to 50 right shares the 22% to 24% right 
majorly right and uh, yeah so these are the things we can take it out from public records the moment you know how to use back and forth public records and your ml status right so if you like this property right you can click on this listing button create new and put your client's name like rajan is my I suppose uh, client name now you can see rajan is over here select it hit add so this listing will go under that listing cart i'll show it to you within a one minute so you like this property for your client go back go there you also like this all this property as well let's let's see the pictures so this is a detached property double garage has a carpet okay has a finished basement as well all right so you like this property as well click on listing rajan add now go over there listing cards will show you rajan results hit results these are the two properties right so now select them hit send put your client's name oh sorry the email address make sure always send a client full don't send a broker full and hit send always send only the related properties so what has gone is just the property details not the public record no only the property details if you want to send the public record how you will send it you will go there under a public record right you will choose uh what kind of information you want to send do you want to send this information or do you want to send uh, a public record demographics because they are the different way of sending public record information so the first way of sending public record information is you have to click on a property detail report click on that hit report this is the report your client is interested in right it has demographics it has enhanced uh, a tab it has the property detail report it has a neighborhood it has uh, look at that this enhanced data right so enhanced tab it has a pin information which is a property identification number which is unique for each and every property in the entire ontario and it has a roll number municipality information and property code and description not on water this is an important thing some of the properties are in toronto downtown they are on water and government is going to vanish them soon cuz uh, as the soil as the earth platelets moves they are going to worry that these properties will crash one day or another so that's their plan is to vanish them and put little parks over there in the downtown region right so these are the things you need to take care before sending it over to your client right and uh, one second so over there it shows there is no history of the sale but look at that they bought this house 658 in the month of 2016 so 
so this is a sale you need to take care of that what's next now let's go ahead let's click on searches again now I want you to select unavailable and include archive listing what we are going to do we are going to search a property which have been sold on Hickory Bush Street detached properties okay so I'm gonna say available and unavailable both right hit continue choose a region peel Brampton right house number just put one to 150 starts hit contains of op choose option contains right h i c k o r y b u s h hickory bush because i want the street name word this word hickory bush must contain inside the full name hickory bush avenue so if the full name is hickory bush avenue i just want that hickory bush must be there so this is such criteria i'm setting it up right so contains means it has to be there hickory bush not start off i can even choose option that the street name must start off with hickory bush i can do that but choose option either start off or contains contains is is more popular right so choose option contains hickory bush and then go down choose option detached two story and let's choose an option separate entrance hit submit so these are the houses are available unavailable and archived separate and uh, separate uh, basement entrance Once you have selected one second, let me go back under criteria street name. No, At the moment you select this box, it becomes not include this name. Look at that. The moment you select this box, it becomes don't we don't want to see this name. So you have to unselect that. Look at the moment you select that, you will lose these 70 numbers as well. K O R Y B U S H. Okay. Hit submit. Sold date and put all page size. So select the page size to all. Yes, so you can see the all the listings on a one page and sold date, right? 
sort it sort it your sold date click on sold date this arrow and then hit option sort now now you can see the moment you sort it once or twice you can see the 16 at the top 13 at the bottom then 10 9 5 1 90 99 right so the last house sold on hickory bush 783 in the month of october 2016 729 was listed for 783 is sold for The moment you click on the house, let's see. It's a detached house. So this is the house. It's a corner lot. This is how you can make your judgment that the houses on the Hickory Bush Street sold for this price in the month of October 2016. And you make your little judgment, right? So this is how you can search for the properties which are not available already sold on which street right so you can you can check it out what does archived, mean? archived means the properties are terminated yes this is archived property expired terminated look at that what does this mean, terminated? probably the client didn't find the right price so they terminate their properties probably the client didn't find the right client it got expired after a certain time so probably didn't get sold. yeah so it got terminated expired expired terminated is from the client side now they don't want to sell this property so these are the words you need to know terminated expired sld sold right so let's go back to our search criteria so we have covered it like how to check it out those properties which are already been sold right so you have to go under new search choose residential freehold or if you're searching for a condominium then you have to search for condominium right then choose an option unavailable and archive listings as well right the moment you select the option choose option commercial hit option lease and then sublease. Hit continue. Now you can see this is a flex search only. It's not quick search. Previously was a quick search. Let me go back. Let me show you. Residential sale available. Continue. It's a quick search. It's not flex. You can go back to flex search and do that but under commercial you will only find flex search right now we are yes we are working on residential we search both together also. yes residential and commercial as commercial. As, commercial. as commercial yes so flex search let's do that peel Brampton Summit Look at that $13 per square feet Office industrial look at that type So let's let's choose an option first one This is the office, 5,000 square feet, divisible, 
own plus tenants, owners plus tenants, right? It has five dollars per square feet. Okay, that's good. So this is how you can search your uh, industrial or the commercial. There's an option for a land as well. Look at that, the land, Humber West Parkway. This is a land. And this land is basically, this is a goreway. This goreway, this is a goreway, right? If, if you know about Highway 7 and uh, uh, area. This, this is a goreway. Sorry. This is a goreway over here. And this, this land is basically your... Uh, available land that the person wants to lease it or sell it let's see it's for sale the taxes annual is forty nine hundred dollars if we'll go down you can see two parcels of land along busy stretch of humber west parkway designated business corridor in official plan zoning is currently agriculture Total site is 7.4 acres. So this is how you can search it. And this is in the core of Brampton, eh? this area. If, if some of your client are looking to buy a land in a Brampton, so this is the best way to search it, right? Click on this land as well. If we will check it out, 45 West Drive is down there in the Brampton West, right? Fort and area, right? So this is how like you'll search a commercial properties, go back to res uh, results. And if you scroll it down, all of them are commercial. All of them are commercial. It's not residential at all. So the moment you'll select the commercial, I will skip the residential so if you need to find a residential then only select the residential so let's let's search the condominium first hit the condominium available sale hit continue I'll ask you now look at that this search criteria is different because you are into the quick search we will also cover the quick search and the flex search but um, no flex search you can also find it this is you'll find less options and you cannot narrow down it properly quick search is basically you can narrow down each and every piece like under under the flex search you have few options and you have to hit submit right so i prefer quick search right so peel brampton hit sub submit so 215 queen street 279 900 let's see this house shows zero bedrooms let's check it out there's a so i think it has one bedroom if i'm not wrong one bedroom and one den look at that so it shows zero bedroom over here right but you need to scroll it down check it out oh it's a bachelor's apartment it doesn't have any bedroom yeah it doesn't have any bedroom and there is a monthly it's less than a 500 square feet zero to five years old right and there's a maintenance of 337 dollars and 72 cents that's the maintenance right and uh, all right so this is how like you'll find a condominium properties let's go back let's search it so if you need to find a property at least with a three bedroom 
sorted. Now you'll find zero bedroom, bachelor's apartment, one bedroom, one plus one means that's den. If, if somebody says one plus one, one bedroom and then one is den, another one is den, right? So let's check it out like this property. It has two bedrooms listed for 329. 25 Kingston Road. If you go down, check it out. It has a swimming pool, gym, pool area, party area, and that's the actual apartment, right? So the kitchen, little sitting area, dining area, bedroom. I think it's only a one bedroom, right? Yeah, first bedroom. This is the second bedroom. That's the storage, the washroom. All right. So, in this property, you can see that the locker number is not given, locker level is not given. So, these are the things you need to confirm it because probably the lockers are not available. You also need to check it out the Locker means in each and every condominium, there are the lockers information means you can store your extra stuff like your garage, right? You store extra stuff in your garage in condominium. You store your extra stuff in the locker rooms, locker rooms in the condominiums. Yeah, sometimes you, yes, for everybody. So sometimes you have to buy your own locker. Sometimes they will give you the locker as well with a condominium. So you need to confirm that. Because later you won't be able to do any single thing on it, right? So you need to confirm it ahead of time uh, before even showing that property to your client. So this property has a maintenance of 505, right? And uh, it's 1000 to 1200 square feet, this property. And it's fully renovated two bedroom condominium apartment in uh, Brampton currently leased okay ideally for investor or the first time buyer spacious clean and filled with the natural light uh, enclosed balcony nice view uh, walking distance to Bramley city center all right so this property has a 2.50 um, commission for the seller side's uh, broker plus HST, right? 329,900 is listed for, right? And two bedroom and one washroom. And the one washroom is a full washroom, four piece, right? So this is, and the 505 is basically the maintenance on this property. So you need to check it out, the maintenance as well. And this is the property tax, 1751, right? So it doesn't have a den. It only has two bedrooms, right? So these are the things we need to check it out before we will provide solution to our client, right? If we'll go even further down, you can see a three bedroom condominiums in Brampton, 489. Let's hit that. It's a three bedroom, but the pictures are not available. Torbrum and Clark Boulevard. Right, so 1200 to 1400 square feet. Right, and uh, this the size of the bedrooms are 389 by 317. So these are the good sizes, not very big, not very small. Right, and uh, has a pot lights in the living, dining, and the kitchen area. Right, and three bedrooms and two washrooms, one full and one half. Right, so these are the things you need to check it out. and the maintenance is very less 266 dollars and 38 cents but when you're checking out the maintenance you need to validate in this maintenance which things are covered like your water is included yes water is included so unlimited water you can use it you'll never find a bell okay hydro no it's not included central dc is included no parking is included yes cable tv is not included building insurance is included right 
and uh, taxes included no so these are the things like we need to check it out central vacuum no and uh, parking how many parkings are available one total parking space two total parking space two are available probably one in the garage or let's see do they have garage there should be a garage option as well yes so this is the linked condominiums like or the the townhouse yes is uh, yeah i know you don't but this is not a condominium this is not a condominium this is a more like yes it's a townhouse right where basically you will find a garage yes three story condo townhouse it's not a condominium so you'll find a garage at the very bottom right and uh, so basement is walk out right now i understand the three story means you enter it on to the first level or the second level or first level then you have to go up then go up in order to find your rooms and the dining area or the living area yes yeah one apartment right so it'll work like that makes sense makes sense now right because the pictures are not uh, posted over here that's why we cannot distinguish right but uh, yeah now it's easy look at that with the walk out to backyard right so it is is understandable now 266 dollars is the maintenance right these are the further condominiums like the condo townhouses so you need to check it out uh, what sort of solution you are buying what sort of houses you are buying uh, or uh, or providing solution to your client right so this is how you can search for condominiums right even look at that some of them are new some of them say sold conditionally I means somebody put an offer and they have accepted it and once they have accepted within two business days they have to update this status that is sold conditionally sc you know means they just been listed yes new means they they've been listed yes pc means price change look at that click on this go down the original price was 369900 go up 349900 so the price has been changed right either dropped or raised pc can go anywhere right so tr terminated right so these are the things like you need to check it out when you make sold conditionally sold conditionally right so click on that you can see that this is a 309800 a four lease street property has been uh, sold for what price we don't know yet uh no it's not been sold yet sold conditionally means they somebody put an offer and uh, they have accepted it now the mortgage condition um, uh, inspection conditions all those conditions should be there right in the middle of it if if they didn't approve it or didn't go through those conditions right then the property has never been sold to that person right so you need to check it out keep an eye on it sometimes it shows sold conditionally and after a week it is back on the market right so this is how and look at the property tax maintenance 727 dollars uh, is the maintenance right so these are the things like you need to check it out before even sending this property to your client because sometimes if client says hey i don't have a budget to pay more than 400 dollars maintenance with the property of 300000 dollars then this property is not for your client right because 400 dollars is a big difference right and you also need to see how many parking spaces is available in a condominium because if your client has two cars then this condominium is not good for them look at the spot number is also mentioned the parking uh, spaces is mentioned right then you can check it out that whether you can rent the additional parking the air conditioning is not in this part sorry 
एयर कंडीशनिंग या सी ए सी एस इज इंक्लूडेड या एवरीथिंग इज इंक्लूडेड पार्किंग इंक्लूडेड सी एस सी हाइड्रो वाटर नॉट टैक्सीज हीट इज इंक्लूडेड केबल टीवी इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड बिल्डिंग इंश्योरेंस इज इंक्लूडेड राइट सो ऑल दो थिंग्स आर इंक्लूडेड यू डोंट नीड टू पे एनी बिल इन दिस रिटायरमेंट probably this this means that this condominium is for the retirement people or something like that then it it doesn't say it doesn't mention the information yes or no okay so yeah balcony is open right so these are the things like we need to check it out and what sort of uh, building uh, amenities are there like exercise room outdoor pool party room meeting room uh, recreation room uh, security guard and the tennis tennis court so they are providing a lot of amenities right and in the extras they are providing fridge stove a dishwasher all the electrical fixtures so all those things are there Let's see the pictures of this. This is the entrance of the building. There's a room, second room, washroom, third room, balcony. so basically you only need to pay money to get your clothes washed for the laundry i think it's paid yeah gym kids area building so these are the little things that we need to check it out before even sending a property to our client uh, once you think it fulfills all the requirements then send it to your client right let's go back to criteria now under search right and i would like to go through the map search this time map search under map search i'm searching for residential freehold available sale hit continue choose the any of the tool from the top let's choose the circle draw a circle i'm drawing a circle right over there One kilometer. Look at that. So my client wants me to find a property within a one kilometer radius from Sandlewood and Bramley. This is very specific, right? Look at that. Let me delete that. This is important. How how to delete it? So click on this. Erase all the shapes. and this is how you will delete it so now choose any of the tool draw a circle and i'm holding my mouse button left button and i'm going out 0.48 kilometers one kilometer so one kilometer radius look at that can you please do that with me it's easy but i want that everybody will do it with me then then only we can do this exercises Okay one second one second hold on
Okay, so once you have these properties available, or you can see on your screen, right? Now you can narrow down the search. On the right hand side, there is a search criteria. So I'm putting it like my client only has a money of $750,000. Please choose only these properties which fall under $750,000. Make sense, right? Okay, let's go further down. My client only wants a detached house. So please only search a property and now you can see there's only a one property available. <laughs> so let's see this property. Click on this property and this is a detached house. 84 shady pine circle. 3 plus 1 bedroom. Its basement is finished and has two kitchens. Let's click on that. So you can see the basement is finished, doesn't have a side entrance, but in the basement there is a washroom is done. They have made a little office down there. The kitchen is ready to go in a basement. Okay, that's good. So this is how you'll enable your search under a map right and uh, one second hit submit let's choose a different option I'm hitting all basically this blank option is all right hit all right and now you can see some of them are even sold conditionally 599 let's choose this let's see what kind of property is a semi detached house 599 right and this house is on sunny meadow and peter robertson 30 by 72 This is a semi detached house, 30 by 72 feet, right? Three plus one bedroom, uh, one is basically the in the basement. The basement is finished, right? And they have 2.77 by 2.74 in a basement, right? So this is how like you will search it under a map, right? You can go back to criteria, hit submit, and you can find all the properties again, right? If you just want to see a detached, Click on type, hit sort, click on type, hit sort. You can see first the semi detached, then detached, then attached row townhouses, right? So you can click on that and you can see which one are the townhouses, which one are the semis, right? Probably you will find a better opportunity over here. 
to see which falls under the right uh, search criteria because sometimes the client is really picky and they don't want to they don't want to go beyond that region right so in order to zoom in or zoom out you have to hold a control key onto your left hand side keyboard and scroll in for zoom in scroll out for zoom out right you can only do it if you have a mouse because otherwise you won't be able to find a scroll right you have to hold in the the control key then you have to do that part then hit submit let's erase this drawing and i want everyone to use a tool erase this drawing i just want everyone to use a tool map search hit continue and use a polygon tool from peter robertson area from peter robertson dixie till bramley and williams so it will be like that so go from peter robertson dixie region to bramley and then williams then go back to uh, dixie and then close it down use a polygon tool this is a polygon tool can you please use that and tell me what's the cheapest property whether it's a detached semi detached townhouse available in that region under the price range of $700,000 so you have 3 minutes to do that yeah it could be anything under the price range of $700,000 max is $700,000 and use a polygon tool specifically no anything I'll repeat once again use a polygon tool from Dix So I'll repeat my question once again we are using a map search and by the help of polygon tool we are going to enable a search from Dixie Peter Robertson to to Peter Robertson Bramley Peter Robertson Bramley Bramley to Bramley Williams Williams to Dixie Dixie to close down to Peter Robertson Dixie this is the search criteria Williams and Dixie yes yes definitely so we have to close it down In between those, use the polygon tool. Polygon, we have to make a circle. No, polygon is like uh, use multiple lines to close it down. So use a polygon tool, please. It's interesting. How to draw the? How to draw the polygon? It's simple. Choose a polygon. Uh, 
right and then then Peter Robertson Dixie Okay, so it's simple. One second, one second. I have to close it down. One second, erase all the diagrams. So, if it's like that, you have to take your mouse, hover your mouse over to the edge of the properties detail or the results window, right? Once you have seen it, then scroll it down the double uh, headed uh, arrow double headed arrow then scroll it down because i want to see the map first right please yes yes okay so click on polygon tool right now i know this is my criteria dixie peter robertson click over here then go up bramley click go to williams click go to dixie click go to peter robertson click make sense Please do that. So I want everyone to make a search and then I want to see the houses are available under $700,000. How many houses are available? What's the cheapest house? Whether it's semi, detached, I just need to see the cheapest house. What's the house name and what's the status? Okay, hold on, please, guys. Once you've selected a polygon tool, enable your search criteria. Please uh, let me know once it's done so we can find the cheapest house in that. Yes, what's the house name? Definitely, yes, that's the one. So that's the house and what's the type of this house? Semi-detached. Semi so yeah. Yes, 669, right? 669. 
yes only are six properties the moment you click on results you'll find only six properties are there right if you want to send these properties to your client how do you do that all of these properties to your client how you will send it to your client okay so if you want to send all of these properties to your client click on this send button once you've clicked on this send button, then enter your client's information. Okay. And then enter some of the information. Make sure it should be only client full and hit send. One second, let me enter it one more time. Hit send, right? Okay, so hit hit send. Scroll it down. Form, client full, broker full. It has to be client full. Make sense if you need to see the two stories only click on two stories and you won't be able to find any of the properties over there right so this is how you use a map search let's cover the saved searches now click on saved searches right and so these are the searches you have saved it earlier so let's go for a new search this time let me show you how you will save a search okay residential available sale continue then peel uh -huh. yeah yes so i will explain it to you the exact map of the brampton or the greater toronto area but it clearly says look at that if you are looking for a community brampton 407 corridor right so brampton east brampton east industrial i, I can explain it to you how Which, yes. I will answer this question next time with the proper map, so you will understand it more. That this, so this, east, west, yes, and the, yes, and as well as the regions. Which one is which region? Yeah. Right, Castlemore region, or the Queen region, or the Goreway region. Right. So I'll explain it to you next time for sure, because I don't have the map handy right now. Right, and I'll bring that map next time and I'll show it to you which region means what. So now if somebody says, hey, this is the address, then you'll exactly say, hey, this is this region. I know about this region, right? So I, I can help. No, if you, if, you, if you know the address, you don't need to put community. You just need to put the address over here, right? What's the address? Uh, spell it. B S D Trail let's see Contain I think Goods way Yeah Okay Goods way So let's hit submit Let's see this is the one, right? Goods way trade. So click on that. You'll see the community is basically northwest. One second. Northwest, Brampton, Peel. This is a community. I'll show it to you over here. Uh, community. Look at that. Northwest. Northwest, Brampton. 
and let me search this address under google maps look at that north west okay this is brampton right entire region of brampton this is west this is east this is north this is south when when they say northwest means this region is a northwest when they're saying southwest this region is a southwest makes sense right when i'm saying northeast this region is a northeast when i'm saying no uh, uh Northwest is northwest is this right? So this is how it works, right? So. so, so yes, definitely. Yes. So main street goes like this. So uh, other side of the main street is this. Other side of north. No. Main street goes e uh, the north and uh, south. Like yeah, north and south. Main street. Look at that. I'll show you. This is main. Yes, definitely. So Mm -hmm. We are going towards Main. Mm -hmm. Queen Street, right? Yes, you are going towards west, west side. We are going towards west side. Yes. And Main Street is dividing east and west. Yes, definitely. Right. Yes. So, so the basically north is uh, this thing. So like that sort of becomes northwest. Yes, definitely. But Sheridan College will be a southwest. 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 Is is northeast. This is uh, this is not in Brampton. This is not in Brampton. This is let's say we go a little further to air, airport, airport steel. Airport yeah. steel yes, then it becomes a, a south south east or central. Could be a central south east, I would say. Yeah, but I will clarify it properly. Like, cause I have a little doubt over here. I will bring down the actual Brampton map, a city of Brampton map, which will clearly says each and every region. So we can work on this, right? I don't want to give you a wrong impression over here. Yeah, yeah. But mo mostly, this is these are the regions, and I, this is how it works, right? So one second, where it goes? Yeah. this one okay let me close it down so if you want to search any property like this property right so let's copy this control c control v right here you go choose this right then hit the option pdr yeah click on pdr hit report And this is yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So this is the entire MPAC report, right? Is today's date on it, right? And uh, this is how. Click on the download, and this is a document. 
and send this document to your client. You can see here's the document, right? Yeah, you have to first download. Uh, no, they're the only two options. First one is to print. Second one is to download. And this one is is for the view, different viewing of it. That's all. You cannot directly send it to the client from here. You need to download it, attach to your email and send it. Okay. So yeah, that's all majorly. So let's quickly cover it. Right, uh, we have covered. Uh, let's go under listing. Right, search residential available sale continue. Right, I'm hitting uh, Peel region and Brampton, and this search is strictly for my detached houses available in Brampton, two story brand new houses, only brand new houses, right? I don't care about money. And uh, this is uh, okay, let's let's put the money over here. Um, $100,000. Oh, sorry. Uh, 1 million. 1 million brand new houses, right? Detached houses. And the square footage I'm looking for 3000 to 3500. Nothing is available. 2500 to 3000 square feet right 1 million right so let's hit submit so these are the houses available right 25 to 3000 square feet 25 to 3000 square feet i'm looking for right and uh, this let's go back hit submit yeah 2500 to 3000 square feet and there's an option of a save search at the top click on save search and let's put the search name brampton detached brand new make sense save search for the following contact if you have some of the contacts you can directly put the search for those contacts and it will automatically send it to them okay so i don't have it so brand brampton detached brand new properties save search save so now you don't need to go through this part Click on search, save searches, Brampton detached brand new. Click on that, continue. So you don't need to make those searches every single time. It automatically will do it for you. Hit submit. These are the houses, right? Look at that. Brand new properties. So yeah, that's all. This is how you you'll, you'll enable your searches, right? And uh, we have covered the map searches today, the saved searches today, right? We will cover the prospect searches, predefined searches, and MLS number next time. Right. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have enjoyed this session. I'll see you next week on Saturday. Till then, you take care. This is your host, Pratik Chauhan, signing off. Take care.